Now, I heard you're making some money. Mm, make... Didn't say that you did. Just like I didn't come to WWE to be... Why did you... Sorry. Someone's been busy. I'm not just having matches for your benefit. And I don't super appreciate your social media commentary. I don't really care about the motivation. Besides, I've realized something. What's that? Having a handful of matches is not the equivalent of putting in years of work at the Performance Center. You know, that thing you have to do if you didn't grow up with a famous wrestling family? The so-called dues you've paid over the past couple of weeks are pretty insignificant. Ugh, you're backing out of facing me on main event? I didn't say that. Because I also realize I can harness how unfair this is for my own good. Even if you can't benefit from your pedigree due to your overwhelming lack of talent, there's no reason why I shouldn't. And like it or not, and I do not, having a match with you, LJ, will increase my standing in the eyes of the short-sighted Legend of Sass WWE management. Especially when I win. So you're in? I'm in. But I can't just squash you on main event. If we want people to stand up and really take notice, we're gonna have to have one banger of a match. So don't hold back. I know I won't. You're determined to make this personal, aren't you? <laughs> if it encourages you to try a little harder than you did at Survivor Series, yes. Fine. I'll ask Molly to set it up. We can settle this in the ring. That's literally all I've been asking to do. Ruthless Universe, you know I'm not one for spoilers, but I have it on good authority that the next episode of WWE's main event is going to be can't miss. So don't miss it. Get ready for one of WWE's most eye-popping athletes. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Suicide Blondes from Glasgow, Scotland, AJ. For a young second-generation superstar like this, It's the hardest working woman in WWE, Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. Matches of this caliber with this level of talent showing their skills. This is why I... That's it. Welcome to main event where Justine's niece is looking to put her survivors... in the rearview mirror against up-and-coming superstar Ava Moreno. I've seen Ava at the PC, and she's as determined to make it in WWE as anyone out there. She'll be looking to make quick work of her unseasoned opponent. Come on, Corey, give Ava's opponent a chance. Rumor has it she's been hustling to get much-needed ring reps, so I, for one, am looking forward to seeing what she can do. <laughs> Evades their offense. Dropkick. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. He's got unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Dropkick in the face. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. 
Well, we're gonna see it next. Slingshot guillotine to leg drop. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Got their opponent set up. Oh, a drop kick to the spine. She's beginning to flag a little. Able to get the advantage here. That might be what gets Moreno out of jeopardy. Dominating shoulder tackle. Cover! Strong kick out there. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Clearly targeting the shoulder. She flips it back on her. Ooh. Ava telegraphing that one. And Ava pays for leaving an opening. Uh-oh, second rope. Oh, that might be the best moonsault ever. I agree. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. From the middle rope, breathtaking hurricane run. Takes another trip to the skies, and it... Come on, you don't get a WWE official. It was clearly an accident, Corey. But one that it looks like Ava is willing to take advantage of. Drop terrible onto the chair. A chair, a downed referee, and an opportunity? What's she gonna do? Looks like both these women are ready to play dirty. She's going to use the chair. Uh, Ava uh, with a bit of a tribute to Eddie Guerrero. And now the referee thinks she used the chair. It's a disqualification. It may not be the ending to this match we deserve, but it's the one we got. I can't imagine either of these two women are terribly happy with the outcome. I don't know, Cole. Looks like Ava might be. And at the end of the day, it's still a W for her. Well, pretty pleased with how that match went. Of course you are, you cheated! Pretty sure the ref saw you cheat, LJ. But I didn't actually do anything! You, of all people, should know it doesn't matter what actually happens. It only matters what others, in this case the ref, sees. Or think they see. Me, of all people? What does that mean? I told you I would make the WWE Universe stand up and take notice. You planned this from the start, didn't you? Maybe not this exactly, but I knew I had to use an opportunity against you to make a statement. Didn't go exactly as I planned, but lucky for me, you don't even know how to cheat right. And now, everyone's talking about the victory I claimed over little Justine! Ava's right about that. It's the most buzzworthy main event match we've seen in a while. And not just the finish. You two are really going at it. It's got so much attention that management wants a rematch. Yeah, a fair one this time, I hope. Let me prove I'm better than her. I'm not faulting you for it, but don't pretend you weren't about to use that chair before Ava outsmarted you. And this one will be no DQ, which means no more shenanigans.
It's the superstar who's driven to live up to all the hype. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Suicide Blondes from Glasgow, Scotland, AJ. The feeling, the electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. They don't come tougher than this wrestler. It's Ava Moreno. And from the Bronx, New York, Ava Moreno. I don't know if there's a more talented wrestler than Ava. After fireworks in their last match, Ava Moreno and her opponent are facing off again in a no-disqualification match to take care of their unfinished business. I don't know about you, Cole, but I love that Ava will do anything to get the W. Should come in handy under these rules, or lack thereof. Let's see if Ava's opponent can match Moreno's intensity without losing focus. You have to think she needs a strong result here to restore her confidence after taking a loss. And down! Oof. She's about to rise up to something catastrophic.
And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Off the top, through the air, and connects. Showing absolutely no apprehension to putting one's body on the line. Ow, knee to the cheekbone. She's going under the ring now. Guess she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. Oh, Kendo stick wrapped around the head. And the pressure on her keeps escalating. Looks like she's having problems creating any of her own offense. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Ooh, ooh. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Sense what her intentions are here. Just a tenacious assault from her. She is being merciless. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Look at this. Oh. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Great. Turn your lights out. And that was an efficient display of offense with that maneuver. Just one step ahead. Suplex brings him down. Yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Top position to be caught here. Oh man, right to the assault. She covers for the pin. Kick out, kick out. It doesn't get any closer than that without the bell ringing. She's in serious pain. She is barely standing at this point. She's trying so desperately to get back up to her feet. From the top! Ava felt the full force of that one. There's two! Kick out! I thought it was finished off for sure. Not about to go quietly into the night. That took some serious endurance, I'll give you that. That was a great opportunity to put this one away, but it slipped right through her fingers.
Ava Moreno has got to figure out how to move on from tonight and come back. That's more like it. I think I've proven my point. I'm better. I guess you can keep up with me when I'm having a bad day. But better? You must have lost count, LJ. We're even. We both have one win and one loss. Ava's right on that point. <sighs> of course you'd be on her side. Do you really think I have it out for you somehow? Ava's right. As far as WWE is concerned, you're square. So, if you really want to settle the score, this needs to be a best out of three series. At least that's what management thinks. Fine. I'll beat her on the next main event, too. They'd actually like you to have the final match on SmackDown. On SmackDown? Are you serious? That's what I said, didn't I? Then I can't wait to beat her on SmackDown. Oh, calm down. Act like you go here. Just one thing. The show's already been booked and is pretty tight. I could only get you a little time. So it's officially a five minute time limit match. My recommendation if you want to finally settle this, someone better win quickly.